hey everyone welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to discuss how you can create a rich text area component for screen flow using a lightning web component but before going ahead let me show you a demo so this is a screen flow with two components a lookup and a rich text area lookup will allow you to select an account and then rich text area will allow you to enter the node in the rich text format Now to validate, let's go to the account and this is saved here. Next, uh, we want to understand what kind of configurable options we want to provide to system administrator when using this component on the screen flow. Lightning Web Component has custom property editor for to achieve this. So for this demo, while building the rich text area component we are going to make a fill label length number of line visible is a custom configurable property for the component so that when a system admin or anyone use this component in the screen flow they can able to pass dynamic values the next step is to go to the vs code let's go to the vs code create a uh, lightning web component when you create a lightning web component it has three elements xml html and js so in the xml uh, you have to define whether this component is going to be available for a screen flow or a record page or app page or home page so we are creating this component specifically for a lightning flows which is the salesforce flows Make sure that you set up the target and define the properties for all the configurable options like for example field label, field values, field length, uh, visible lines and so on. Now next is uh, .html. For this we have to use lightning input rich text and it has different attributes like for example values, label. Label visible is used to display the label. If you don't use it your, your label will not display. Then required which is coming from XML which is a configurable properties on the component side. Then valid field format is basically uh, you can define what options you want to provide with the rich text editor. Do you want to allow them to do the color coding or list? You can you can make those configurable. Then visible line is basically a class is css i added this css which is rta visible line and what it does it basically on the call back uh, i am taking the visible line and passing the value to the rta visible lines css variable so that it will when component load it will set the number of line visible lines next on on change i am calling this function and this function is basically check the user internal length should not be exceed with the defined length uh, in the flows. If it's exceed, display an error message. If not, then store the value in the field values. Now to configure this, I'm going to use a screen flow. I added a lookup element here. Next, drag and drop rich text here, and you can able to see the custom configurator. Feel free to mod add, modify value as per your need. And that's all and the finally i have an updated statement which takes the id from the lookup and save the values rich text value into the sales note feel free to add or modify rich text area lightning web component as per your need if you want to get started with lightning web component the best place is go through the salesforce documentation for lightning web component that is that has everything one needs to get started with lightning web component thanks for watching this video and happy learning